There is no more Sunday night football, but on sequence, there's still plenty. We recommend anything on our show. I mean, it's a nice little show, but it doesn't bother anybody. But, <laughs> but I am telling you, Gelman has stumbled on something. He's done here. it again. We talked about it on the show yesterday, this Elastor Run thing. Mm -hmm. When I tell you, please stay tuned for this. I really mean it. This I, is I think you will see something really an awesome you haven't site, seen yet on television. Are you going? To, you're going to do this? We're going to do this. Yeah. Oh, and Chris Elliott will be here mm -hmm. too. Chris got a very funny movie out called <laughs> Cabin Boy. <laughs> What's the matter? Hey, we got somebody from uh, the New York area here, Mrs. Kimberly Baker, Mawa, New Jersey. Hi, uh, Kimberly. Hello. Good morning. Good morning, Kimberly. Good morning. How are you? Well, we're I'm fine, fine, Kimberly. Thank you. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Kimberly, this Cover is not that. a dental office, you know. <laughs> Kimberly says, please call before 8.45 a.m. because I take my daughter to school. But I'm always home by 8.55 a.m. <laughs> Kimberly, we don't have time for all this, you know. Are we glad we caught you at yes, home, Yes, please don't ever change your wholesome format. Good morning. Okay. Can right. you talk for a minute or do you have to leave? Uh, no, she is, school was canceled today because of the snow. Yes, yes. It was sleeting here in the city. What's it like out there? It's snowing big flakes out here. Very Boy. icy. Tough week, hasn't it been, Kimberly? It really has. She's been off for about three days. Ooh. If I were you, I would go to the front door, throw it open and say, Good morning, world! Yeah. <laughs> you sound like a very efficient woman. Um, well, so-so. <laughs> I'm coming so. off laryngitis and a cold. Well, you sound Great. pretty good to us. All right, Kimberly. The question was, um, she starred on Laverne and Shirley. She was Oscar's secretary in The Odd Couple. She is a successful film director. Who is she? Well, I knew it before the extra clues, and it's Penny Marshall. Good for oh, you. Oh, good for you. Yeah. Number 86, the year my daughter was born. Number what? Number 86. 86. 86. Congratulations, Kimberly. You and this lucky member of our studio audience have both won brilliant Magnavox sound quality from this all-in-one portable boombox featuring compact disc, dual cassette decks, and AM-FM radio stereo. Smart, very smart. From Magnavox, your prize is valued at almost $200. All right, you're going to get a terrific boombox, and this picture autographed by Joy. The Smothers <laughs> Brothers are next. We'll be right back in a moment. Don't go Still ahead on live, we just takes on the Alaska Run and actor Chris Elliott. From Hollywood Pictures, in Africa, the rules of the game are simple. Hit hard. <laughs> Play fast. Whoa. Aim high. Always keep your eye on the board. And no matter what they pull, don't let the other team catch you off guard. He's ghost in our Kevin Bacon. The Air Up There. Rated PG. Now playing at a theater near you. Check newspaper for showtimes. My cold medicine almost got rid of my head cold. Bless you. It kind of helped this thing in my chest. <coughs> Maybe your cold medicine's not working because it treats all colds the same. Introducing one that doesn't. New Bayer Select Cold Medicines. Powerful ingredients so exacting to be more. Each goes after specific symptoms and for powerful relief. New aspirin-free Bayer Select Targeted Cold Medicines. Exactly what's right for exactly what's wrong. Number one big two all board had more in 94. That means more volume pricing, more savings. More selection, more value every day. More savings on a 94 F-150 truck with air. Only 11,994. It's more of what you're looking for. More in 94 at number one big two hall four at the heart of Cassett Avenue. A place to laugh. A place to work. Halls for the enlightened. Aspirations that soar to the heavens. Dreams that span the sea. A time for play. A time for rest. And a time to be positively Jacksonville.
All right, they've been entertaining audiences for more than 30 years, and they're funnier than ever, and uh, we love having them here. They're here quite often, as a matter of fact. We really enjoy them. Here they are, Tommy and Dickie Smothers. How are you doing, pal? Thank you. How are you doing? Good to see you. Okay. Have okay. a seat. So you know what it's like to work with your wife? I mean, when you work with a close relation, you've been working with your brother all these years. I give her an Academy Award, Joy. You are so oh. fantastic. It takes a lot. <laughs> takes a lot. Yeah, it takes a lot. To admit you don't know how the Super Bowl is decided. No. <laughs> you asked the question backwards. If you said to the audience, how many women don't know and don't care, you'd have got a different oh, reaction. I should have said don't care. How many women don't care? How many women? Your wives enjoy redecorating the house. Yes, until I pay the bills. Just yes, like you. and then you. Then the joy goes right out right of their out decoration. Of yes. I have to learn to cover that. Yeah. I would say the most important thing for me is the fact that we're into 1994, and it's a, a New Year's or probably next to, I'd say Halloween and Easter. Are, uh, I'd say New Year's is the most important time because it, it kind of gets rid of the old, and we look at past, we can look at the future, and still try to grab the present so when we when we stay in the present when we live in the present uh there's no future and there's no past but on new year's when you get there that's the only time you can look backward and look forward and be and still be in the present tonight when we get home and get in bed will you explain what he said to me? No, but that's, oh, that's very philosophical very and very profound. Well, it's a matter of, it's, it's a matter of choice. Yes. And only at the New Year's do we get that choice. And sure. Mm. Since my life is noon, my brother and I have been, uh, this is our 35th year in the business. 35 years. 35 years performing as brothers. Yeah. We have a lot of future stuff. Yeah, that's great, too. Well, did you two ever uh, want to take a vacation from each other? Yeah. We just did. <laughs> oh, I thought you were both I haven't seen him for six weeks. Oh. So we've been on, uh, we yeah. took all of December off through the holidays and... He went to, to uh, Florida. Florida, and I was in I was in Florida. But we're not. Uh, but not in the same. Not city. in the same house. I was in uh, I was in a place called um, Winter Park. Winter Park. With yeah. some friends, Harlan Trammell and his wife Sally, and we had a baby and, uh, and a nanny. They had and a else. baby too. They have a baby. We all have ba our baby. You went down there and had babies. That's what <laughs> you said. So that was a nice family vacation for you. Was, Where'd you go? I went to West Palm, uh -huh. uh, Palm Beach, Florida. We have a little winter home there. My wife does the horses. And we had a problem, though, with Santa. That's the problem, because we what? live in Virginia. Yeah, what's the problem? And, well, we spent Christmas for the first time in Florida. I got you. Because we had all this time off. Sure. Does Santa and, get down to Florida? I well, think he does. two-thirds of him got down to Florida. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the package the package is the box for my daughter. Oh, uh, well, you Sarah. brought some pictures along to yeah, show us, right? Santa, all right, let's Santa take a look at the Dick's mother's pictures. He didn't, that's, that's Christmas oh. morning, and that's Lorraine. And how old are the children? Uh, four. That's Rem making fun of Lorraine. He's four, and Sarah is six. Now, if she looks a little pouty, she said, oh, there's Remick. Uh, he got everything. Santa got... Uh, <laughs> is that a Batman mask? Batman that's a Batman mask, yeah. mask, and that's Mama. And that, now he's ready oh. with his to go on his brand-new bicycle, his first bicycle. <laughs> he's got a Jurassic Park backpack. Here's her bike, the only thing that was on her list that she received that day. She said, I went to bed early. I was, I was anticipating everything. I was so excited. I was first up, and... Daddy, really, nothing on my list showed up. And I didn't really think I was that bad a girl, was I? Oh, that was she really Your milked heart. it so yeah. much, Sarah. You milked it. Yeah. So she went out for Boxer's Day, you know, the English thing. Yeah. Next day, and picked out all her gifts. And then the box arrived four days late. Oh, <laughs> she, th she hopes, though, next year that Santa yeah. remembers the change of address. See what a heartwarming story that yes, was? Yes, isn't that? This, this is my... Well, it's... The, all Sarah has to do is live in the present and hope for oh, the Oh, here goes again. We're going to pause. We'll come right back in a moment to find out how we spent this holiday. Monday on Live, actor Tony Randall. Also from House Party 3, Kid and Play. Since Maxwell House Light gives you the rich taste of Maxwell House coffee, but with half the caffeine, you may want to get a bigger cup. Maxwell House Light, also an instant and good to the last drop. A short while ago, Carol Walters was troubled with arthritis pain. But she promised Pete they'd go for their run. So she took a Motrin IB. The same medicine as in the Motrin doctors have prescribed for years. 
but in non-prescription strength. And just one Motrin IV works as well as two regular aspirin. So now, Carol's ready. Let's go, Pete. Pete's been ready for a while. Motrin IB, the relief of Motrin in non-prescription strength. TV home improvement expert, Joanne Liebler. Fixing this toilet, tough. Cleaning it, no sweat. With 2,000 flushes, chlorine clear tablet. Over a quart of tough chlorine in every tablet. Clean stains, up to four months. 2,000 flushes, chlorine tough. Are there homes for sale in your neighborhood? If so, how many? Your neighbors may be your friends, but they're also your competition. If they're listed with a real estate agent, their price includes a commission. In today's market and economy, price will most likely be the determining factor. So knock out your competition and cut the commission and sell faster with Buy Owner. For details on buying or selling, call Buy Owner, where it's you that makes the difference. Call now. On the next Real Stories of the Highway Patrol. Look at the eyes on you guys. Massachusetts State Police drill a carload of drunk kids and pop the top on their party plans. We're going to have a drill here. Let's open the trunk. Let's empty them out. And yeah, don't get me wet. Then, an escaped convict steals and flips a city police car and threatens the lives of innocent victims. We knew he had a shotgun in the car. On the next Real Stories of the Highway Patrol. Weekday evenings at 7 on 17 JKS. Cable Line, Jacksonville. Okay, we're with the uh, Smothers Brothers, and we just uh, found out how uh, Dick uh, spent his holidays. Now, now, what about you? Well, for, for New Year's, which is such an important day, there's two things I was very pleased about. One is having this man as my brother for yeah. all my life, That's and nice. the other thing is my, my, my new child, uh, Bolin Thomas. Bolin? Bolin Thomas. Is there a story behind the name Bolin? Yeah. Uh, Bolin is, uh, my name is Thomas Bolin Smothers. The third, I have a son, 28 years old, Thomas Bolin Smothers the fourth, uh -huh. and this is boy's name, Bolin Thomas, so it's a B-O-L-Y-N, it's a family name, and he's eight, he was eight months, wow. it's his first New Year's, and uh, he's, he's a, kind of a Buddha face, he's magical, and we have oh, a really? little... Shall we take a look at yeah. it? Do you have some home video to show yeah. us? Great, all right, here's so Bolin Thomas. Oh, sure. Now we're down in Florida, and that's Bolin and uh, Tracy behind us. Yes, he... I keep dropping him, I want him to walk. <laughs> We're dancing here New Year's Eve. <laughs> He's adorable. He's a happy boy. My wife, Marcy. Here's my wife, Marcy, kissing him a lot. Sounds like you, too. Yeah, same kind of rhythm. <laughs> same hairline. Uh, same hairline. <laughs> I don't know why she keeps doing that to the kids. And uh, so, he, this is Marcy and the baby. Wow, he did pretty him. good. Uh oh, here you go. Here, beg for the food. Oh no. Sit. Sit. Speak. <laughs> no. He's not paying any attention. No, he's not doing anything. <laughs> hey, what a cute boy. I want to hear the smothers yell. The family. Give me the, the family big one. yell. <laughs> Louder. <laughs> Good boy. Isn't he great? Yeah. He is adorable. Well, that's uh, that's Bolin Thomas, uh, cute, the trammels, cute. and uh, oh, what a yeah. great, great like New Year's Eve we had. Nice. And that's he nice. knows the future, and he hopes for the past. <laughs> Is he, do you think he's going to be as articulate as you, Tom? Well, right now he's. I'm picking up some of his mannerisms. <laughs> <He's> very... <laughs> Spending a little too much time with Bolin. <laughs> now, what's this? You guys are performing with symphonies around the country. You're going yep. to Oklahoma City. Uh, Oklahoma City, uh, Oklahoma Symphony Orchestra on uh, January 21st, 22nd. Uh -huh. Yeah. Really? Uh, we three days with the the symphony, I believe, and we the did. Desert Inn in Las Vegas, uh, February 8th, uh -huh. through, for one week. Uh, with, um, um, I don't know who they booked with us. Uh, Barbara uh, Streisand opening right. the show for us. Barbara Streisand's opening the yeah, show I for see, us. Yeah. And they, they have a guy's coming in, he's going to lose some ten million dollars as an opening act. As an opening act. Yeah. Lucy Arnaz. Lucy? Lucy Arnaz would be with us at the Desert Inn. All right, we're going to go out now, but why don't you take that yo-yo out of your pocket there and just dazzle us with the thing that says, well, we say goodbye to the yeah. old Smothers Brothers and wish you a happy new year. But to I the new Smothers Brothers. Yeah, to the yeah, new yeah, Smothers yeah. Brothers. Yeah. I hear you. There he goes. He's got to do this or he's not happy. We'll be right back with Alaska Run in just a moment. Tuesday Online, Donnie Osmond. Also, supermodel Kathy Ireland.
didn't seem to see too much savings. So I, I went back to AT&T. But I do remember them telling me that I, I had made a great choice, but it just didn't work for me. And I didn't notice any depreciable differences in the price, so I switched back to AT&T. I guess I had to learn, learn the hard way. If you spend $30 a month and belong to MCI's friends and family with Basic or Prime Prime, you could save more with AT&T. Save 15% off our basic prices on calls to everyone, anytime. And 25% off calls to your favorite area code. Switch now. It's free. Just call 1-800-854-9555. I didn't like it when mine number was given out, and my sister did it, and we didn't speak for about a month. I don't give phone numbers out. I didn't want to trouble my friends and family because they're diehard AT&T. It just wasn't worth it. There's just no way. No lists, no hassles, no fee. All you have to do is switch. Call now. Service is a big, wow. big feature with me. Service is the key. I switched back to AT&T, had the service that, that they're obviously known for. I stored AT&T number one. I can't go wrong with AT&T. AT&T makes it easy with the best customer service. And if you spend $30 a month, it's easy to save no matter where you call. Save 15% off our basic prices on calls to everyone, anytime. And 25% off calls to your favorite area code. But you have to call first. 1-800-854-9555. I went back to AT&T. So I went back to AT&T. I just really wasn't that happy with it, so I switched back for, for free. AT&T is the only choice. Prices that could beat MCI's most common friends and family plans, plus the best customer service. More reasons why so many people are switching to AT&T. Okay, you're about to see something that has never been seen on television before. And this is called the Elasta Run. That's correct. And this is the president of this organization called Boeing, Boeing. the creator of the Elasta Run, John Lerner. John, it's nice to Good have to you be here. Art. Is this your first... Uh, first TV appearance. First this TV your appearance. Creation? Our so creation, I... big in Europe, very big in Europe, first time in America, mm -hmm. as always, a first on your show. And how did you arrive at all of this? Well... Nine out of ten people don't want to bungee jump. They don't want to go up and down. That's right. Afraid of heights. Afraid of heights, scared to death. So we said, what could we do that the average person would not be scared of? Got a call from the English people. They go, I say, old bloody chap, we've done it. This is like six in the morning because they're five hours ahead of us. I'm like, oh, no, what do we got now? Don't worry about it. We'll send it to you. Here and we here go. Is. This is here we go. Said. This is an, a, a horizontal bungee run and a bungee jump as and well. Are safe, John? Is it well, safe? yes, yes, it's safe. <laughs> <laughs> well, and actually, what we're going to do is we are going to pick somebody out of the audience to compete against me in, in this and uh, give them a chance out of this. Well, Great. all right, should we start to blow this up then? Plug it okay, in. Okay, so what do we have to do? Just plug it in. We're just going to plug the blower in. And they're going to send it in full of air right Lots over there. Lots of air. All right, this will take about two minutes to, uh, to line up, but when it finally gets up, you will big. see what a massive thing it is. This actually is not for your home, is it? No, but no, you can really put it outside isn't. in your backyard. So who, oh, who, 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 who are you going to sell this to? Uh, a lot of the bars, nightclubs use them. A lot of the amusement parks. A lot yeah. of the special event planners rent them out to private parties. All right, fine. So the air is shooting in. This is going to develop into a two-person track. It's mm -hmm. 32 feet long. That's How many right. feet wide? We're 11 feet wide, about six and a half feet tall. Uh -huh. and the, the object is to what, to John? run. We're going to come over here. We've got some props to show you. Each one of the contestants has to put this on, right, John? That's right. Maybe we can strap you in as Go we ahead, talk. Go ahead, why don't you? Okay. Oh, my goodness. They've Doesn't gotta... we just get knee pads or anything like that? <laughs> Something? To, a helmet? <laughs> okay. The object is to take our little sticky wand, and what we want to do is we want to have you run down all the way and stick it onto there. So Whoever much. pushes this wand the furthest down here is the winner. Okay. Each one of us oh, wears... Excuse me. Each one of us wears uh, this. The bungee comes out from the back. <clears throat> you run as far as you can. So there's one strip of Velcro, I see, and right. that's it. That's it. And we're just going to strap it All right, so while he's doing this, Gilman, who are your uh, appointees from the audience? Who is it? I well, the guy with the Notre Dame hat. Are you from Notre Dame? Oh, my goodness. I think he has a slight edge. Uh, feel comfortable? Yeah, I'm Maybe, fine. Doesn't it have to be tight, John? No, it doesn't have to be tight at all. That's oh, it for me? That's All right, it for get you. the other one ready. Oh, okay. You have a good, strong back? Hi, how you doing? What's your good. name? Mark. Mark, in good yeah, shape. Look at this guy, strong. <laughs> Notre Dame guy. Are you from Notre Dame? No, I go to Penn State. You go to Penn State? <laughs>
Put the hat on. Get rid of the hat. All right. Get rid of the hat. Going to strap him up. Incidentally, if you take a look at this, it's okay. fully constructed now. It's all set. We're going to put the uh, the uh, band on. Uh, what's your name? Mark. Mark, and then nice we'll be right Mark. back, and we'll have our first to last to run on television. Wednesday on Live from Seinfeld, George's mom, actress Estelle Harris. It's the number one recommendation of doctors. Doctors have prescribed Monistat for years. The number one choice of women. It's what I used whenever I had a yeast infection. Monistat 7 cream starts to soothe on contact and cures yeast infections fast. And now it's available in improved disposable cardboard applicators. Monistat works. It's the cure I trust. There are other creams. My doctor said Monistat is still the right cure for me. That's all I had to hear. Monistat, the number one choice of women, the number one recommendation of doctors. Having a pizza delivered, right? Yeah. Plenty of time to try new Popolos for one. I show you. Just a pop and a Popolos for one. And five minutes later, Popolos delivers the taste. You've been missing. We make our pizzeria-style crust slowly and carefully. It's like having a pizza oven in your microwave. I can't believe this came from a microwave. Ooh, you're gonna love this. <laughs> new Popolos for one. You may never call out for pizza again. Attention. It's a furniture factory buyout. Nationwide Warehouse buys out the entire inventory of a major furniture factory, and we're passing the savings on to you. Living rooms from only $188. Bedrooms starting at $168. Dining sets at $148. Posture series bedding starting at $29 each piece sold in sets. Hurry in for best selection. It's moving fast. Now, two locations. West Jacksonville, phone 387-5300. Arlington Beaches, phone 724-6300. Call now. Nationwide Warehouse. Nationwide Warehouse. Coming to the table for the very first time, it's Gerber Graduates, the first complete line of table foods custom made for toddlers. Toddlers need more iron than adults. Our cereal snacks have lots more iron. They're starting to feed themselves, so our veggies are diced just the right size. All our foods made just for them and made just right. Gerber Graduates, the food just right for toddlers. This isn't a small college. This is... At this college, you don't get personal attention. You do here. This isn't Jones College. This is... Call Jones College today at 743-1122 and we'll show you the difference a small college can make. Okay, we're back now. We've got this thing set up. Mark, we've selected from the audience. He's from Penn State, actually wearing a lot of Notre Dame paraphernalia. But uh, young guy, he's in great shape. He's brought a whole contingent with him here. The ringer. They're all going to root him on. Now, John, <laughs> now, John, we're all hooked in here. As you can see, this we're is the bungee the right here. That's right. You're we're going to run roll. as far as we can, Mark. The object is to put it as far as you can on this middle stripe. You come back. You take three runs putting yours as far as you can each time. All right, Mark? Okay. Did you we ready? say everything? Joy. Go yeah, ahead, Joy, get us going. Get ready, get set, go! 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 What happened to you, big guy? Know. Oh, my gosh. And there was a $100 bill that I can't reach. <laughs> Courtesy of Tommy Smothers. Well, anyway, for better or for worse, that's how the game See, is really played. You really do huh? have 20-year-old legs, Regis. 20-year-old legs, Mark, and don't you forget it, big guy. Information is in the newsletter. John, it's going to be a big hit, I think. Thank you very it's much. from Boyd. And Chris Elliott is next. Right back.
information about the Alaska Run in our newsletter, send two dollars and a business size stamp self addressed envelope to live newsletter, issue number one sixty nine, post office box two zero one zero, Floral Park, New York one one zero zero two. Last night when she was asleep, did you tuck her in? Kiss him good night when he didn't know it. There are so many things parents quietly do that children aren't aware of. I'm Florence Henderson, and I'm here to talk to you about one of them. Life insurance for children. An easy way to protect your child, your family, and yourself for life. It starts with one phone call. Your concern now means your family will be protected if the worst happens. The money will be there. And most important, it means security for life truly because this life insurance plan is guaranteed renewable for life. There aren't many ways to do so much good with so little money. With one dollar, that's what it costs to try out this policy for three months. And your annual payments are guaranteed to stay low. Just twenty dollars a year. One dollar now for three months, then twenty dollars a year. Easy, affordable, a must. You can depend on guaranteed trust. In business since 1936, Guarantee Trust has been quietly providing children's life insurance to caring parents for decades. Today, over 300,000 policies are in force, and for good reason. Listen. Never regretted buying the policy for my child. Great, low-cost coverage. Made some checks with other companies, and yours is the best. You'll learn more in this great start kit, yours free with a toll-free call. Life insurance for your child. If this security is what you want, call right now. And this evening, when you kiss your child goodnight, you can both rest assured that the good you've done today will last a lifetime. You can trust, guarantee trust. Call now to receive your free Great Start Kit. There's no obligation, just information. Call 1-800-642-6777. That's 1-800-642-6777. Don't wait. Call now. Gosh. Well, that, that was that a lot was of fun, fun, but I'll tell you, the, the most fun was trying to get this thing out of here in the two-minute commercial break, <laughs> but our prop guys did it again. I was proud of you. Yeah. You're a lot of breath. young guy. Well, you know, you're charging down that thing, and that... What does it feel like when it, it just it pulls you back? It gets more tension, more and more and more, and then finally it just overwhelms you and pulls you back. Did you hear Gelman say he got all the way to the end? <laughs> Must be all that uh, skiing he does. Well, right? it's strength. Yes, he's very strong legs, Gelman. <laughs> all right, he began his career working on uh, Late Night with uh, David Letterman, and now, of course, has his own series on Fox for a while, and now breaking into uh, motion pictures. Here's a, a new movie that he wrote and uh, stars in. It's called Cabin Boy. It opens today. Here's Chris Elliott. How are you doing? Fine. Good. Nice to meet you. Have you been with us on the show before? Is this your first time? in this time? lifetime. Okay, no. good. Sit down. No, yeah. no thank you for having Christmas. me. I feel like I, I know you. It. I've seen you so many times. Am I dressed okay for you're the show? You're fine. No, you're yeah, fine. Yeah, you're great. No, I don't have anything in my closet that I think is uh, <laughs> noble enough to wear on this show. I am a huge fan of oh, this really? show, and so is my wife. Oh, my and uh, very nice. So this is an honor, a thrill, and the most exciting thing that's happened in my life lately. So. Oh, my God. Oh, boy. I like I mean, a that grateful, sincerely. I like a grateful guest, you yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> I mean it sincerely, I really do. Now, now, you started working on David's show, huh? Yeah, that's right. Um, 1982, I actually started as a runner on the show, now, making $200 you say, a week. A runner? What does that mean when David said, coffee? <laughs> Make it black? <laughs> you ran. They, and that's exactly the way he used to say it, too. <laughs> It's amazing. Uh, Where did you run to? Uh, to the coffee machine <laughs> and, to, uh, and to the Xerox machine. And um, I screwed that up enough times so they made me a writer. Well, you, know, you know, I mean, I do the same thing with Gilman. <laughs> Little cream. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm crying out loud. Now, is Gilman 15 years old? How old is Gelman? He was 15 when he started on our show. No, he's a little older than he's that. He's a little older. No, he's, uh, he's getting older and older every there day. Yeah, there he is. Right there. There he is. But so you had a meteoric rise, eh, from runner, and then how did you progress on the show means. into a writer? <laughs> uh, well, actually, uh, the other writers, before I was a writer, were, were already putting me into little bits on the show. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, the first thing I did on Late Night was uh, I modeled uh, a big garbage suit 
Uh -huh. and, uh, and, and it's funny because the night that that show, you couldn't see my face, and the night that that show was broadcast, um, there was a, a mess up in the uh, tape room, and that portion of the show was blacked out. Oh, great. And uh, so Dave had me on the next night in the same garbage suit, but this time you could see my face. And uh, he asked me how disappointed I was from the night before, and I, I said terrible, and I had people in the audience, and, uh, and, he, and he asked me, uh, well, what, yeah, he asked critics. He asked me, uh, you know, well, what did they say to you after your performance last night? And, and I said to him, well, they said it was the funniest thing they had seen in North America. Uh huh. <laughs> and and Dave laughed really hard at that. He liked and, that. Uh, <clears throat> and I knew right at that moment. Well, if I can make Dave, Dave laugh, laugh, which is a feat in itself. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I then, mean, especially then... the old Dave. <laughs> the new the new Dave yeah. is laughing all the time. That's true. He's... Nobody's yeah. happier than the new Dave. Yeah. The, the phrase I... laughing the all old the way Dave, to the bank. Yes. Kind of comes to mind. The old Dave was a tough one to make laugh. He had such a quirky sense of humor, and so do you. Do you do you think he was uh, an, a big influence? Oh, on he you was. You know, I was I was thinking the other day when I got <laughs> there. I was I guess 22. I don't think I had a sense of humor. <laughs> I really don't think I did. I, and uh, very um, unfunny runner. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, I, I took the coffee very seriously. Sure, too. absolutely. That was your job. Not, uh, but then you something you, to joke about. You became a regular on the show, the panicky guy. Uh, right. Well, after these writers started putting me in, um, uh, uh, they started having me come out a, a, uh, as the panicky guy, the conspiracy guy, and <laughs> and then they made me a writer, and then it was a lot easier because I just wrote myself into the sure, show. Sure, why not? <laughs> Anytime you wanted to be on, you just wrote That's your... right. That's right. Now you started making uh, little movies. I, I know you were... Yeah, well, We on... just watched you the other night, as a matter of fact, on Groundhog Day. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was very yeah. funny, Chris. Yeah. You had the camera guy... I'm terrible guide. in that movie. No, but you had the camera guy down yeah. cold. That's well, the way that's they nice. are. Well, I spent about three years studying it. <laughs> <laughs> and you perfected it. I pinched it. a nerve carrying one of those cameras. These guys, I have... I know. You know, uh, a lot of uh, respect for these guys sure. carrying these things. They are heavy, and, and I pinched a nerve, and I didn't want to tell anybody because it was the first day of shooting. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I had to hold this camera like this, and, and I, I went home to the hotel and just sort of walked around like that, <laughs> you know, for the whole time. And, and Didn't want to break character. Yeah, no, but a lot of cabs pulled up. <laughs> um, but, uh, uh, so they had to gut the camera for me, but, uh, uh, yeah, I'm horrible in that movie, but it's a great movie. I, I think it's Bill Murray's Well, so let's movie. talk about your new movie now, Cabin Boy. Oh, you're a cupcake for bringing that up. <laughs> he is a cupcake, isn't he? But it seems to me the plot is vaguely familiar, right? <laughs> it's familiar. It's, uh, it, it's somewhat similar to, to Captain's Courageous, uh -huh. which is an old favorite movie of mine. And uh, it uh, follows the story of a rather obnoxious uh, a brat who uh, graduates from rich, a, spoiled kid. a rich, spoiled kid who graduates from a, a foppish finishing school, and he's sent to Hawaii to take over his father's business and uh, ends up getting on the wrong boat with a bunch of overweight ne'er do well yeah Not well uh, yeah foul mouthed fisherman is what uh -huh. he ends up with so what do they make uh, uh they make him a menial uh, yeah yeah they say he has to stay with them and uh he becomes the cabin boy and they end up going into this sort of bermuda triangle area called hell's bucket and there's all sorts of creatures that they uh really? encounter uh but does this build way. character do you end up being a much better person for this experience he learns or? The truth of life. From these, <laughs> right, I these, love from, a message from movie, these don't fat you? fishermen. <laughs> these yeah. guys are that rough, huh? That's right. Well, let's take a, a look now at a clip of uh, Chris Elliott being abused by yes. this crew in yeah. a scene from Cabin Boy, oh. son of Captain's Courage. <laughs> Bunch of lunkheads. Trina! Oh. oh, Trina, I'm so glad you decided to join us. I was just putting on a little show for the fellas here. So this is what you guys do for fun? Yeah. Humiliate an imbecile? <laughs> sure, he's clumsy and he's stupid and he's a screw-up. But you don't have to treat him like an animal. You know, uh, Trina, it's funny you should mention screw-ups because um, about an hour ago I made the mistake of using your swimming diary to light the stove. <laughs> I've been keeping that diary for 15 years, you ape! Well, dance, boy! Dance! 
Chris. Don't let your wife see that. <laughs> That's pretty much what life is like at my household. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know, it just breaks me up. Yeah, well, but it's, it's something sad about it. Well, it is. There's She's right. You were a human being. You can't be treated like an animal. <laughs> well, I win her over towards the end of the movie. Oh, I bet you do. Like Steve yes. Martin's The Jerk, only yeah. worse. Well, I've been, I've been called that many times. So. Not exactly something Cary Grant would turn no. down. You know no, I mean? no. It's, uh, I, I guess I play kind of a cross between Freddie Bartholomew and Peter Lawford. Yes. I think that's the closest. Oh, so I can see that. Letterman has a cameo in this? Yeah, Dave uh, has a cameo. There's a lot of uh, cameos. My dad has a cameo in it. Uh, Ricky Lake uh, actually plays the figurehead of the boat that comes to life. Uh, and uh, there's Russ Tamblin, who is in uh, West Side Story, sure. actually plays Chalky, who's a half man, half shark. He's uh, sort of the biological offspring of a, a relationship now, that now, I don't want to go into. But. Now, Chris, I know what a problem it is to sell anything in Hollywood. Sure. When you went with the treatment or the premise or whatever it was that you put down on a couple of pages, <laughs> did you have trouble explaining I don't, this? I can't type, Regis. <laughs> Well, you just pages. went in and ad-libbed this to the studio heads there? Well, luckily, we didn't have to go into the guys in the suits. We had to go in and sit with Tim Burton and, oh, uh, oh. because he produced the movie. Oh. And, um, but it, it was interesting because we, we sat, uh, Adam Resnick, who, who wrote with me on uh, Late Night and created Get a Life with me, we, we went in and, and I, we spoke to Tim and he sat there stone-faced throughout the whole thing. <laughs> And uh, you know, I, I started sweating and started, <laughs> you know, shaking uncontrollably. <laughs> and then uh, suddenly at the end, he was bouncing off the walls, literally, and taking his sketch pad and drawing what See? the six-armed woman should look like. Yes, and, you and finally got stuff. to him. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. the right guy for this kind of a yeah. movie. Yeah, no, we knew that right away. And so that's a Disney product, huh? It's a, yeah, Disney touchdown. All right, terrific. Okay, good luck to you. Thank you. Okay. you Thank you. Nice to meet you. Cabin Boy, opening today all around America. We'll be right back in a moment. Thursday on Live, actor Harry Hamlin. 17 JKS wants you to help keep kids warm this winter by donating coats and cold weather clothes to the Coats for Kids Drive. Bring your items in good condition to Win dixie and the Salvation Army will pick them up and distribute them to those in need. Swanson asks, which do you think tastes better? Vegetables cooked in water? or vegetables cooked with Swanson broth. Swanson broth. It simply makes food taste better. Why buy an ordinary sofa when you can buy a Jennifer sofa bed and loveseat for just $5.99? As incredible as it sounds, that's both pieces for $5.99 in many luxurious styles and fabrics. That's Jennifer value. With so much seating comfort, you'd never believe it's a sofa bed. So why buy an ordinary living room when you can buy a Jennifer living room? Jennifer Convertibles, America's largest sofa bed specialist. With a Jennifer sofa bed, there's always a place to stay. You can start losing up to 10, 20, 50, even 100 pounds with the powerful new doctor-approved Magic Trim Diet Pill Program for only $9.95. This doctor-approved diet pill program works like magic. It's so powerful. You can burn more body fat relaxing all day than bicycling 25 miles or sweating through five hours of aerobics. Pennsylvania's Frank Tepper rapidly lost an incredible 43 pounds. It came off quickly. I couldn't believe it. Colorado's Sandra Jones lost 32 pounds, easily dropping from a size 13 to a size 7. Deborah Vincelette from Massachusetts lost 52 pounds, burning away an amazing 10 inches from her waist. Teresa Wells from Texas quickly lost 38 pounds with her doctor-approved Magic Trim Diet Pill Program. And Oregon's Lisa Ludwig rapidly lost 40 pounds, easily trimming from a size 9 to a size 3. With new Magic Trim, Darling Skaggs easily lost 26 pounds. Diana Cowden quickly lost 48 pounds. Bonnie Martin rapidly lost 57 pounds and Bill Stewart lost an absolutely astounding 155 pounds. Now you can easily lose weight with your new 21 day magic trim program for only $9.95. Call 1-800-592-5900 to order. We accept all personal check and credit card orders by phone. Your satisfaction is 100% guaranteed. Call 1-800-592-5900 now. We will accept your personal check or credit card order by phone. Call 1-800-592-5900. Remember, have your checkbook or credit card ready when calling. All right, Joy, it's been an epic week having you uh, here. Been it's been a lot of fun. And Tony Randall will be here mm -hmm. on, um, on Monday. Monday. And Kathy Lee returns and on Monday. Kid and Play will be here. And Kathy Lee back looking just great. Have a nice day.
Sunrise of our studio audience will receive the following. Vicks Vapor Inhaler for fast, effective relief of nasal congestion. Easy to carry and easy to use anytime, anywhere. Take a breather with the Vicks Vapor Inhaler. From the eye care experts of Bausch & Lomb comes Moisture Drops. Moisture Drops' unique three lubricant formula gives unsurpassed relief for dry, tired eyes. Rice Aroni, the San Francisco treat. Available in more than 20 flavors to go with all your family's favorite dishes. May we join you for dinner tonight? Cherical D, soothing cough relief for ages 2 to adult. A trusted formula with a pleasant cherry flavor. Cherical D, a tradition in good taste. People are talking and Sally Jesse's listening. So take a break and settle down for an hour of Sally Jesse Raphael on 17 JKS Cable 9 Jacksonville. Thank you very much for joining us. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to live in somebody else's shoes? Well, one curious woman decided to find out. In my own body, I never thought twice about eating in a restaurant.